Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this uh, skirt. Uh, it's a chevron skirt. It's a well-known uh, pattern, I think. Just I want to show you um, how to make it easily and um, fine looking. When I make this one, I use this yarn, a trophil puzzle, and that's a child size. I use almost one ball of yarn for this. Uh, I want to make a little skirt to show you. For an adult, I think you need two balls of this yarn. And I use a um, three millimeter crochet hook with this. It's super fine. Uh, one size one. And uh, 1093 yards 1000 uh, meters and now I will use this one to show you clearly and three and a half millimeter crochet hook and uh, we will need an elastic band like that uh, that's almost one and a half in long three centimeters you can use uh, smaller or taller uh, it's up to you uh, if you are ready please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's start i will start with a slip knot And then chains uh, make chains multiples of uh, twelve. Okay. I start this one uh, with one hundred forty-four chain, um, and now make some chains. I made uh, sixty chain. Okay, and for this one, I start with 144 chains, uh, but as I said before, that's um, a child size, almost a child size. Um, you must uh, make more chains. Okay, be sure about uh, it will be multiples of 12. Now just like uh, insert your hook here, be sure about not to twist this chains, wrap the yarn and make a slip stitch. Chain one. Now uh, before starting this Chevron uh, pattern, uh, we will make the base. Okay, chain one, insert your hook into same chain and make a single crochet. And into the next one, make one more single crochet. Insert your hook here, take the yarn, pull it through, yarn over and pull it through from these two loops. That's a single crochet. Now, yarn over. Insert your hook into that next stitch like that. Take the yarn, yarn over and pull it through from these three loops. And that's a half double crochet. I will make a half double one more time. We made two single crochets, two half double. Down. Now we will make two double crochets. Yarn over. Insert your hook into that next stitch. Take the yarn like that. Yarn over, pull it through from first two loops. Yarn over and pull it through from second two loops. That's a double. And I will make it one more time. 
And now we will make a double crochet. Yarn over twice. Insert your hook into that next stitch. Take the yarn like that. Yarn over and pull it through from first two loops. Yarn over, pull it through from second two loops. And yarn over, pull it through from third two loops. That's a travel. We made two single, two half double, two double, and one treble. Now we will make the same thing again. Two double. Two half double. And when it came uh, this single crochet, we will make three single crochet now. We will make two here. We will start with two, but we will make third one here into that uh, last chain. Okay. I will make three single crochet. One, two, three. Then yarn over two half double two double one treble two double two half double and three single crochet one two three repeat the same thing for this row i'm almost at the end of the row i made two half double and now here i will make a single crochet okay and insert my hook from this first single crochet take the yarn and make a slip stitch now we will start uh, the chevron shape row uh, but we will not start from this uh, single crochet we will skip this single crochet i will insert my hook into the next one take the yarn and make a slip stitch now we can start chain two yarn over i will make double crochets but not a, a regular double crochet uh, actually we can say treble uh, it if we want or we can say double and a half <laughs> it i will show you now yarn over insert your hook into the same space that this uh, does not count as a stitch we will make double and a half here okay just take the yarn like that yarn over and pull it through from only this first loop yarn over and pull it through from second two loops this two loops okay and yarn over pull it through from last two loops i want to make this double crochets little longer but not too long so i use this uh, stitch if you want you can use a regular a double crochet or travel yarn over insert my hook into the next stitch make it like that and i will make it four more time it's six look this is uh, 
we made uh, one treble here and this is it. Chain one and into that same stitch make one more uh, double and a half. I will say it uh, double crochet from now on, okay? You know what I mean. I make five double and that's the sixth. This is the first single crochet. Okay, we made three single crochets. This is the uh, first one. This is the second and third one. We will skip this second. Just skip this one into the third one. Make a double crochet and keep making double crochets. That's the third. Fourth. Eight. And six. Uh, I'm uh, in the treble stitch again. Chain one. Insert your hook into same stitch. And make a double. Then keep making. And that's the sixth. Let's get the second single crochet again. And just uh, keep repeat the same uh, pattern for all the row. Now I'm at the beginning again, made my last single uh, double crochet and skip this single crochet here. Insert my hook from this first double and make a slip stitch. And I will make one more slip stitch. We will always make this, okay? When we start, we will always make one slip stitch, one more slip stitch like that. Chain two and into the same space make a double and keep making double crochets. I make five double crochet and that's the sixth one. Okay, I made it here. Chain one and into the same space, make one more. And then we will make five double crochet. But first one is here. Don't miss it. Okay. Third. And sixth. Now, for this row, I only skip one single crochet here. You remember that? Now we will skip two double crochet. And from now on, we will always make the same thing. This is our main uh, row. We will think it like that. Skip this and this uh, double crochet. And into the next uh, stitch, third stitch. Yeah, make double. Five, and I will make six double crochet here. Chain one, and into the same space, make one more. And complete the six double crochet. Skip two and keep doing like that. I'm at the end again. 
I'll make a slip stitch like that and make one more. Uh, I will keep making like that and uh, every uh, other five row I will make some increases. Okay, I'm at row three now. I will make one more row and uh, in the row 5 I will make a decrease and then 10, 15 I'll keep doing like that. How will I make this decrease? I will show you now. Chain 2 and starting from the same space I will make my double crochets. I made a uh, five double crochet here and I will make two double crochet here okay that's the first and second chain one and into the same place I will make two more one and two and starting from this stitch, make five double crochet. And I have seven double crochet here now. I will skip this two and make seven double crochet chain one seven double crochet and you can keep making increases like that uh, for this one uh, I completed uh, in the row of, uh, 45 and in this row I made my last increases okay and I have 15 double crochet here If you want, you can keep increasing uh, like that. Or if you want, um, you can make some um, increased rows. And then when you came to the uh, top of your hips, okay, uh, you can stop increases and just uh, keep uh, repeating the same row again and again. Um, it's a little like a pencil skirt like that not uh, same but it like that if you want you can do it like that or like I do uh, just finish it and I will show you how I made here now When I finish uh, all the rows, I will show you like that. I uh, join with a slip stitch and make one more slip stitch, then keep doing slip stitch. Just make slip stitch like that. When I came here, I will make a slip stitch and I will keep doing just uh, don't make them too tight if you want you can change uh, your crochet hook with a bigger one okay just keep doing like that and make slip stitch I finished the skirt like that. Now I will show you how to make the ribbing. For the ribbing, I take this elastic band. Don't pull it like that. Okay, use it like that. Take the yarn. You can start from anywhere you want. I think uh, it's it looks nice if you start from here to where I uh, began 
but now uh, you can uh, you you can get confused because of these uh, tails. So I will start from here. Make some chains. It's not important how many chains you have here. You see? That's enough. Okay. Now we will make um, some kind of single crochets. Insert your hook into same space. Take the yarn and pull it. Yarn over and make a single crochet if it's <laughs> a single. Okay. At first, um, this looks a little hard, but when you make it, it's not too hard, okay? Insert your hook into that next stitch, take the yarn, and make a single crochet. make it again you see if uh, that loop uh, seems a little too loosey to you you can pull this yarn here this one actually uh, I found uh, a different way to make this and use it because I want to make it a little more um, neat, neater than this one. I use a different uh, crochet hook. Insert my crochet hook here. Take the yarn. Pull it like that. And use this crochet hook now and make a single. I will make it one more time. Insert my hook here. That's um, the easiest way, I think, and it looks better than that. And um, it looks like that. Okay. We will keep making like that. And when you came almost here, uh, just take your elastic band and Put it like that. Uh, make it same uh, as here. Okay. Uh, as I said, don't uh, pull it. Then cut here. Then put them together like that and sew it. Then finish this part around this um, two. A band it will look like that you see here and um, some place I made um, two uh, for one stitch you see there's it uh, I made one for one stitch but uh, some place I made two you can make it like that too. If you want, you can make it 
um, two for one stitch uh, from the beginning. Uh, it will look good too. And that's all uh, I will told you about this skirt. Uh, I hope that could help you and I hope uh, you will make it if you make uh, and if you want to share it with me too uh, you can tag me on Instagram uh, my Instagram address is Srin's Crochet um, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will wait for your comments that's it for today hope to see you again have a nice day